Now, a few weeks ago, we visited a couple of specialist steak restaurants in Melbourne on the Gold Coast. Now, Sydney ciders and visitors to Sydney, this week it's your turn as we're heading to the Meat and Wine Co, the beautiful Darling Harbour. Now, there's no better place to dine, so you better have a look at this. Now, for all of you meat lovers out there, I've found the perfect restaurant for you, and that's the Meat and Wine Co, where you can enjoy a great meal, especially their steaks, and enjoy a stunning view of Darling Harbour. Let's take a look around. Now the Meat and Wine Co pride themselves on creating superior quality beef that has been carefully managed from the pasture to the plate. And they also serve delicious seafood, chicken and Australian premium game. Now let's see if we can duck into the kitchen and see head chef Harvey Haridos hard at work. First of all, with the entrees, we've got uh, a nice uh, peri peri prawn here, Portuguese style, and it's uh, king prawns, just pan fry with some uh, uh, garlic and onions and uh, some uh, white wine and uh, a nice rich uh, peri peri sauce and um, some uh, garlic cream also in that. Served with the rice, and that's a very nice and simple dish. And we've got here, it's a, it's a beef carpaccio, Angus beef carpaccio. Uh, it's a beef fillet, it's seared, uh, crusted with some uh, pepper, juniper berry and then season it nicely, sear it quickly, and then we roll it into rolls and then we slice it up. And we serve it here with some lemon oil and horseradish cream and some freshly shaved parmesan cheese. The pork ribs is uh, being cooked very slowly uh, for about uh, 12 to 14 hours, uh, very low temperature. And here we just glaze it up, grill it, and uh, finish it with a special basting. Serve with chips. We've got the dry aged ribeye on the bone, which is uh, Age, all our meat here is aged for at least five to six weeks. Uh, this one has been dry aged for at least three to four weeks. And um, all our meat also is uh, basically Angus cattle, British fed. And um, this one is one of the most uh, uh, succulent pieces of meat that you can eat. Also here we've got some uh, very special desserts. Uh, we really focus on our desserts also. We want people to have a good dining experience before they leave. Here is a signature dish, a chocolate fondant served with uh, vanilla ice cream and um, some chocolate sauce and uh, biscuits. Uh, very rich chocolate pudding, uh, runny in the middle and quite, um, quite nice. And here we've got uh, an apple and rhubarb crumble. Uh, we've got uh, with some cinnamon ice cream there, the slow cooked apple with some vanilla, vanilla bean, uh, sugar and some uh, butter and then we've got uh, a crumble mix cinnamon ice cream, some apple crisps. Serve with also a uh, English custard with some uh, rhubarb syrup to go with that. It's a very uh, nice dessert also. Now the Meat and Wine Co is part of an international group of steakhouse restaurants and in Australia alone you can find them at South Bank in Melbourne, Church Street in Parramatta and of course Darling Harbour.